Hello folks, uh, welcome to BBU 4089. This is your internship class. Uh, and so most of you are coming down towards the end of your time here at Point Loma. And so I'm really excited to uh, help guide you through, um, through this class. So my name is Nick Wolf. I will be your professor and facilitator over the next three terms. And so um, again, really excited to be here to help you always here for questions. Uh, I'm going to have a couple of other videos in here, but this first one's just to introduce the course, walk you through part of the syllabus, um, and just what the expectations are. So first of all, just to introduce myself, um, I uh, have been with the university now for 10 years, uh, so I will be your instructor. A little bit about me, I, um, I have close to 25 years of experience in the human resources uh, sector. Uh, I did a lot of executive search, was an executive leader uh, at one point for a couple of large international organizations. Um, uh, again, I've been here in the uh, School of Business now for a little over 10 years, and uh, I'm not only your professor, for uh, for this class, but as I'm also your dedicated career coach. And so uh, there's a, a module specifically dedicated to that. But um, what that means is anything career related, uh, I'm the guy to come see whether you want your resume to help, you want to uh, prep for an interview, you want to work on your LinkedIn, anything like that. I'm the person to come see. And so we'll talk more about that as we progress through um, the uh, term. And so a um, couple of things here, just here's a, a, an easy access to the syllabus. Uh, here's an access to the course introduction and here's some other quick links for you. Uh, I'm going to jump right into the syllabus here. Uh, and so here this is. Uh, I'm going to download this and I'm just going to go over the first couple of pieces of it. I don't want to be on this uh, recording too long. So this is not only your syllabus, but it's also a workbook for you. It's going to have a lot of documentation and some of the uh, assignments are actually in here and I'll, I'll walk you through those. But again, this is broken up into three terms. OK, and so within each term, there are going to be different assignments. And depending on when you start your internship, you will have additional assignments. So um, let's walk through these. So here's all the table of contents. If you you want to look at that. Um, and assignment policies. Here are the assignment descriptions really quickly. Um, you can walk through those. But um, here is um, the first assignment. So assignment one is due in your first term here. OK, so all class members, regardless of whether or not you begin your internship, everybody in this term will need to do a video cover letter and your final resume in PDF, okay? Now, most of you will have done your resume in 3013, and so that's great. All you have to do is upload that um, as well. I want you to update it if there's anything new from there, and then we'll, we'll have you update your LinkedIn as well. But that's the first assignment due term one, okay? Uh, in term two, you have assignment two. And again, these are due regardless of whether or not you begin or complete your internship. Your second assignment due in term two is your letter of recommendation and your mid-course survey. The letter of recommendation can also be supplemented with uh, two LinkedIn recommendations. Uh, and then uh, I'll cover that uh, in another video. Uh, and then uh, finally, your final assignment is the ethical dilemma. And, and regardless, again, of whether you do the internship this term or the next term or one of the other terms in term three you will have an ethical dilemma paper that you're going to need to write okay i'm going to scroll back up here because um prior to starting your uh in your internship so whichever term you begin your internship which could be term one term two or term three you are going to do uh, these you are going to and they're due prior to starting your hours. Uh, it's an internship proposal and three required signature forms for a release of liability, a course agreement, 
and then a learning agreement. So those ones are specifically due prior to you starting your internship in the semester you're beginning your internship. Okay. Now, after you've completed your internship, these are the four assignments that are due. Okay. So this is after you complete your hours. Uh, and it can be done in any of the three terms. And so you'll need to turn in a timesheet, one timesheet, with your 90 hours reflected in there, okay? Uh, and then your final internship research report, which we'll go over, uh, your thank you note to your supervisor, and then a supervisor online evaluation, okay? So all of that is done the term you complete your internship, okay? Um, so other things that you want to know here in the in the um, uh, syllabus, here's all my contact information, uh, my cell phone number, my office if you want to stop by main campus, um, my email address. Uh, those are all the things, uh, all the best ways to connect with me. Here's our university mission uh, to teach, shape, and send. Uh, our Fermanian School of Business mission. This is the catalog course number in, in description. Um, here's the hours, credit hours. Each one of these terms, you do three terms. Each term is worth one unit uh, or one credit. So you get a three credits uh, total over the three terms. Uh, here's some three FSB assessments that you're going to do. That's the video cover let is part of your assessment. The ethical dilemma is part of your assessment. And then your internship research report is part of the assessment. So we need to get, make sure we get those done. Uh, course for grades, this is credit, no credit. And so uh, pass fail, as long as you do the assignments uh, and do the internship and get those hours in, you pass the class and we'll, we'll get you moved on. Okay, uh, there is no final exam for this. And um, for international uh, internships, there's some information about that. Here's our educational goals. You can read through that. Uh, this some other stuff you want to read through. Copyright policy, use of technology. Um, this is uh, either online or a hybrid course, uh, as well as um, a cohort model. And then um, course schedules and assignments. Again, here are those assignments I talked about. You can walk through those. Um, and that is really about it for the syllabus. Okay, how to navigate through Canvas. I'm going to close the syllabus now. How to navigate through Canvas. You're just going to click on the modules here. And again, here's your course orientation. Here, here's information about me, right? So meet your professor. Uh, here's an opportunity if you'd like to, to introduce yourself. I would appreciate in that first week uh, that you start class. I just want you to tell me about yourself. There's no assignments due or anything like that. Just tell me a little bit about yourself and your career goals. Uh, what do you like to do outside of school? And then are you currently working? So this is an assignment you're going to do to introduce yourself right off the bat. Um, go back to the modules here. Again, you can click through anything here. Um, and then here is, again, this assignment is only due the term you complete your internship. Okay? Uh, your internship proposal and in so that's due then. Um, this is due after. Okay, so this first part, are all the assignments due while the term you're doing your internship. Okay? And then what I'll do is in the next video, attach to module one or term one, I will show you exactly what you need to do for that. So if you have any questions, again, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can either call me on my cell phone or you can call me uh, work phone or you can email me. Uh, again, I'm so excited to uh, have you on the class. If you have any questions, reach out to me and uh, we will get started on this. Have a great day.